After defining your career goals, marketing yourself, and going through countless interviews, you finally receive that desired job offer. The time has come for you to talk dollars and cents with an employer. Before jumping into a negotiation, you first should consider the broader picture of your offer. How does it fit with your interests and strategic plan for the future? What does the offer present in terms of benefits, both tangible and intangible? What are some best practices to prepare for a salary negotiation? Negotiating salary should begin at the moment that you talk to the recruiter. You should find out what the salary range or band for that position is to find out A, if it meets your needs, and B, what their flexibility is. We really try to talk from the beginning. The recruiters are talking to the candidates early on about what their salary expectations are. So we don't really let it get too much of a negotiation standpoint. We are able to tell a candidate early on if they're out of our range. Um, we also, I think, are really fair in that if somebody tells us a range that's lower than we're willing to pay, we're not gonna make you stick to that. We're gonna pay you what we had budgeted for that position. Some companies have salary bands assigned that are non-flexible, that you cannot negotiate against no matter how great you are as a candidate and what a perfect fit you are. Addressing that on the first call is gonna avoid wasting your time as well as the recruiters. So it is appropriate to ask the recruiter or the HR representative calling you, what is the salary range for this position? Or my current salary is this, I would like to earn this in my next role. Putting that up front and talking about it is gonna set the expectations for the remaining time in the hiring process. I know a lot of people who really, really want to work for X company, um, and they'll take the position no matter what. Um, but it's important that you make sure that you're not underselling yourself and that you get the salary that you deserve. And it's kind of hard to do that if you don't know what that salary should be. Going in already knowing what you think might be the parameters is, is smart. You can look up on Glassdoor or different different websites what people are making in your area and specifically at that company. Typically when you're going through the interview process you should know the salary range that is out there. Um, once you get the offer you know the company wants you. The company has been a vested interest in getting you to work for them. They will be very disappointed to lose you. That's the leverage that you have. So go ahead and ask, ask for what you think you deserve. There's a lot of things at play. It depends on how much experience you have. Do you have a skill that's really hard to find and you've got five years experience doing it? That might be the time in your career that you can negotiate. You might not get it and that's perfectly fine, but go ahead and ask for it. I'd also say ask for other things that are not necessarily monetary. And don't get so fixated just on the salary itself because there's so many variables. You need to look at the benefits, healthcare benefits package. You need to look at the time off. You need to look at are they giving you any options or are they giving you a 401k? Do they match that? What about education, professional advancement? Do they offer you an education budget, special certification programs in-house? How easy is it to move among departments? What is the career advancement opportunity with the company? You want to look if they offer equity awards, if they offer profit sharing, uh, what sort of health benefits they offer, all the little things that probably when you're coming out of your undergrad degree don't matter that much to you because you're a little bit more flexible, you're coming out of college, but as you get older and as you get more into the advanced levels, those are the things that really start to add up. A lot of times people get very focused on the number. When you're spending 40 plus hours a week at a place, that number becomes less important. It's all of these other things that really influence your happiness in your position. Can you see a direct path to get to that next level in your career? So talking about career advancement, benefit packages, paid time off, education, and all these other pieces will give a better picture if that with the salary is going to help you get where you want to be. To have a company that's willing to invest in you and when you're thinking from a negotiating perspective, as was mentioned before, it's not all about salary, of course. Uh, of course, salary plays a big part initially from an entry level perspective. But, you know, just think about those additional things. Am I going to pursue uh, additional degrees? Do I seek additional certifications or just exposure to various conferences uh, in regards to my particular skill set? If those are things that you value and that you seek, you want to be sure that your company, the company that you're identifying, supports that. Well, I feel like who your coworkers are going to be is a huge part. I mean, you really want to look at 
who your manager will be? Do you like that person? Do you admire them? What can they give you in your career? It's important to know what the work-life balance is like at that company. Um, there are some jobs where you may be getting a huge salary, but you're working 90 hours a week. Um, so it's important to know that going in. Accepting a job offer takes you one step closer to achieving your strategic career goals. That's why it's essential to consider the complete picture before accepting an offer from a company. Have you compared the financial value of your offer to the current market value? How should your prior experience affect the outcome? What are the overall benefits of your job offer? Always remember to make choices about your career strategically, leveraging your skills and knowledge for long-term career success.